Hello, Pork Belly Ventures riders. This is Pete Phillips and Dave Kennedy uh, showing you a short video about our new charging station and how to use it. So it's got 720 lockers. When you uh, come to check in, um, you won't be assigned a locker, but we do want you to bring a small padlock to secure your locker if you're concerned about any of your devices being stolen. So we're not again we're not going to assign lockers but you can just choose a locker and we have a little numbering system so for example you may pick one locker dave's going to pick a locker it's going to be in vertical row 6b so your locker would be 6b hypothetically and he's got it open and we're going to show you you can bring your device and just plug it inside there and he's showing you this just so you know which style of plug uh, to bring. We want you to bring a, uh, a, a plug that's oriented uh, with an outlet and not um, on the width of an outlet. So he's going to show you, hold up that other plug Dave, that this one here doesn't work where the cord comes out of the side. Let's see the, the actual plug and so there we go. See a, 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 um, a charger like that, an AC charger like that won't fit in and, and plug in. Yeah. So bring one that's oriented the other way. You can put up to two devices in each locker. Um, if you're a husband and wife or two friends, whatever, if you can share a locker, that will help uh, conserve space. You guys can just uh, put, you know, have a combi combination lock that you both know, uh, and then uh, you know share that locker. Uh, if you want to have your own, that's fine as well. But again, we we're, we need some people to share them if possible. So then once you secure the lock, we'll also have uh, you want to get a small luggage lock. You don't need a big lock. We're going to hold a tape up here so you can see that if a lock is too big, it will hang down over your neighbor's locker door, and that that gets messy. So if you can avoid just a you know just a small lock, we expect there to be a lot of traffic in here. We don't think security will be a problem, and it hasn't been a problem when things are not locked up. Uh, so I would not be concerned about it. But just to keep an iPod or your or your phone safe. Uh, you can throw a lock on it and have a key. We'll have a limited number of locks for sale as well if you forget to bring one. Um, okay, so uh, two devices per locker. You can set your phone in there as Dave has and you can see the status. Also on each uh, charging device, can you grab that? Yep. On each charging device, to know that you're with Pork Belly Ventures, we are going to issue at check-in a sticker. And any charger that does not have a sticker on it, we will know that somebody uh, not from Pork Belly Ventures is using our locker, and we will, um, uh, you know, th th this this is a privilege for Pork Belly Ventures riders, and, and so we want you to have a sticker on your devices, okay? So we'll issue those stickers to you when you uh, get to check in. Okay, what else is going to be on this uh, on this trailer, Dave? We've got yellow lights above at night, so it doesn't attract bugs. Um, the lot, the um, trailer will be open uh, first thing in the morning about about five o'clock. About five o'clock in the morning, and then we will close it up at uh, between ten about ten o'clock every night. Plan on being done at ten o'clock. The generator will run all night. It's a smooth flow generator that's suitable for charging electronic devices. It's the Honda uh, good gen smooth flow generator. You can see it in the back there now. Um, and again, it'll charge all night long. So if you want to keep your phone with you during the day, put it in your locker at night, it will charge all night long. And you'll be able to access your device in the morning when you come on. There's a nice little ramp to go up and down with uh, some carpet to get in and out. It does have another door over here. We're probably not going to have access in and out of that door. We'll have it roped off, but we'll have it open to provide good ventilation. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the inside of the trailer. Now we'll move around to the outside of the trailer here and show you the next part of this little tra uh, trailer and that is for airing up your tires. I hope I'm not making you nauseous by running around here. <laughs> so we've got a, we'll have a compressor hooked up to this with one of these little air bobs like we've had in the past. Real simple little device. The way it attaches to your tire is just like a standard pump. You put this over, you undo your uh, uh, Presta valve, you put the put the over the valve and then you tighten this on okay not before it this is locked on the on the uh, tire okay on the valve stem okay so it goes over the valve stem this locks it on when you're ready to take it off the tire 
uh, you close it back down and pop it off. Dave, maybe you can demonstrate that yeah. for us real quick, putting it on a on a valve stem. Here's a valve stem. Loosen your loosen yep. your nut up loosen there. Okay, blow the air off it a little bit. Put that, lock it on. Now it's locked on. Mm -hmm. Now you can feather. This is this compressor is going to be set at 130 psi. But you can feather pressure in. I'm hoping you can see that. I know the light's bad. You can feather in pressure to whatever pressure you want. If you only want 90 or you want 110, you just keep feathering in pressure, and it will give you the proper air pressure. You don't have to worry about it exploding your tires and so forth. We will have one of our people over in the morning to air tires for about an hour every morning, but we encourage you to do that the night before to avoid the lines that will happen in the morning. So to take it off, Dave's going to show you here. Close, close the valve and then pop it off. If you do it the other way, we're going to tear up those air bobs and and uh, they'll be uh, we'll have to be repairing them all the time. It'll slow the process down. So, so that's the new uh, phone charging and tire charging trailer uh, for Pork Belly Ventures for Agri 2013. If you have any questions, you can email myself or Dave Kennedy about it at uh, at our email addresses. You should have that attached to the email that you'll that's linked uh, with this video. Thanks for watching.